Okay, we're going to finish up this Adele song. Uh, last time we just kind of talked about getting the parts down, and this time I want to talk about that the fourth ending, or the fourth time through it changes. It's going to sound like this. So it changes from uh, the first one. Doesn't go to D minor. talk about bringing that first melody note in the second time through will be syncopated uh, again so that's one of the little little thing to throw in to kind of dial it in we'll quickly talk about the chords to the chorus uh, but not a whole lot just kind of we'll get a, we'll get a basic gist of it so I want to get up close so you can kind of see what's going on my fingers here play it nice and slow for you the last time through so the third time through in the verse right before the chorus what she's gonna do is she plays a minor to C go to that G Put, once you play the first fret of the second string, then your thumb goes four, three, two. So you play thumb, pointer, middle, or P-I-M. So, um, back to the third string, and then this little lick. First fret of the second string. Pull off with a really strong fingertip right into the next string. From C to B, third string open, back to the second string. So, one more time. Pretty cool, huh? So that, that's it. Um, there's that. And one other thing to think about, we did, I simplified it last time, just a, just a hair, is coming through, out of the pattern, in the verse. Then it starts over. The melody actually comes in on the end of beat four there. So let me play it for you again, see what I'm talking about. So what you're going to do is you're going to play that E right before that bass note. You can hear it in the song if you listen closely, and it's just like a, it's a little icing on the cake that kind of makes the whole pattern sound a little bit cooler. You know, when we go into the chorus, um, you know, you can play F, and I might arpeggio it to D minor. Maybe play it this way to G. And for the chorus, I would just strum it. You know, it's just uh, those chords, you know, they're all over um, the place. It's not really the crux of this lesson, but um, it's not too hard to do. And I just strum that. And then I can kind of big bombast the chorus. So, you know, put some energy into that fingerstyle part at the beginning. So yeah, have a good time with that. That's a, that's a lot cooler just strumming some chords to it. And uh, if you play along with it, it's pretty almost exact to the piano. So it's a good arrangement. Have fun with it.